Hi, welcome. Today we're doing a mat workout using the gold Yamina ball. If you have another type of Pilates ball or fitness ball in a similar size, feel free to use that as well. I love Yamina balls. I use them for body rolling, rolling out muscles, similar to foam rolling. And they're also a great prop for fitness, which is what we're gonna be doing today, working the whole body. So let's get started. Just sitting comfortably on your mat, taking a moment to arrive here, tuning into your breath. Let's take a couple full breaths, feeling the body expand on your inhales and soften on the exhales. Just let the shoulders relax down. And then very slightly thinking about pulling the belly button in towards the spine. Also tuning into a scoop in the lower abdominal, scooping in and up, engage core muscles. And as we do that, we should feel the chest lift a little bit and sitting a little bit taller. Nice, keeping all of that. Let's take this gold Yamina ball and put it out to the right side on our mat, a little bit away from the body so we can have our fingertips just resting on the ball. And with your next inhale, let your left arm rise up to the ceiling and we're gonna side bend over. So just allow your hand to roll out on the ball as you side bend. We'll pause here for one full breath. And then on your next inhale, come back up to starting. We'll go two more times over to this side, rolling on the ball, coming over to the side, pause for a breath, expand into the rib cage, come back up to starting. And one more time over to the right. Just getting our bodies warmed up to start, coming back up. Bring your arm down, we'll switch sides. Ball comes over to the left side, fingertips on the ball. Inhale, right arm to the ceiling. And then rolling that ball out over to the side. Have a breath, come back to starting. And again, side bend, big breath. Lifting up, one more over. Coming back to center and your arm comes down. Nice, we can roll the shoulders one or two more times. Finishing with them back and down. And let's come into boat position. So if you're up on, sitting up on a cushion like I am, we can move that off to the side. And then bring your feet in front of you with knees bent. We're gonna check in with that scoop in the lower abs, core engaged, lifting the chest. Take the gold ball and put it on your shins, just below the knees, both hands on the ball. We're still getting warmed up here, so we're gonna do a little more spinal flexibility. Start to roll the ball down your shins towards your feet. Just uh, walk your hands along the ball, and as you're doing that, you can let your chin fall towards your chest, let the back round come forward over your legs, walk the ball all the way down onto your feet, pause here, have a full breath, and then walk the ball back up your shins, sitting up tall. Imagine you're stacking your vertebrae one on top of the other as you come to that tall spine, and again, we're gonna walk the ball down, allowing yourself to round forward over your legs. Have a big breath. Rolling the ball back up, sit tall. And we'll do that one more time. Coming down for a breath. And then rolling the ball up. Sitting tall, chest lifted, shoulders back, lovely. So take the ball and we're gonna place it at the base of our spine, right down on the sacrum. So you kind of use your hands just to snug it right in at the base of the spine and then lean into the ball. 
So we're gonna check in that we've got that scoop in our belly. We're leaning into the ball to hold it in place. Chest lifted, shoulders back, and then reach your arms forward at about shoulder height with palms down. If you notice that your shoulders have rounded forward, pull them back, keep your arms extended. From here, with the core engaged, we're bringing our arms down, fingertips are gonna to touch the mat, and at the same time, you're gonna bring one knee in towards your chest, lifting the foot off the mat. And then your foot comes down and the arms lift back up to shoulder height. And then other side, fingertips come down, other knee pulls in, and lift the arms. And just keep going like this, alternating which leg you're lifting. So we're thinking about the torso, trunk of the body, being stable, stabilizing here. We can feel the ball at the base of the spine. We're leaning back slightly into it and moving arms and legs with control. We're breathing. Let's do one more to each side. Nice work. And then we can take the ball and move it away from the base of the spine. Make your way to hands and knees. And we're gonna take the ball and we're gonna put it underneath one knee. So it's gonna be just behind the kneecap. So the front of my knee is just a little bit off the ball. And then on the side where the ball is, I'm gonna tuck my toes so I'm landing on my toes for a little bit of stability. Fingers are spread wide. And my hands are down under my shoulders. So we wanna get as much stability here as we can with um, wide base of support on the hands, toes down, because the ball is adding that instability, getting our body to work to stabilize. And then opposite leg, we're gonna extend out behind us, land on your toes. So that extended leg now, we're going to lift and lower. So go ahead, lift and lower, extended leg, and you're breathing. You're checking that your belly muscles are engaged, abdominals engaged. Our head is in line with our spine. Rest of the body stabilizing. And the back of this leg is lifting and lowering, working here. Let's do one more like this, lift and lower. And then the next time we lift and lower, we're going to lift and cross midline, tap to the outside. So lift the leg, make a little semicircle, cross midline to the other side, and tap your toes down just outside of your mat. And then lift the leg again, little semicircle, and bring it straight behind you. And keep going like this, there's lots going on here. So you should really feel your body firing up, lots of strength, lots of stabilizing. Let's keep going. You're breathing. And we'll go three more reps. Last one. Nice work. And bring that knee down. Awesome work. We're going to go to the other side. Just take a moment to do any stretches you would like to do between sides. You might want to roll out your wrists. Take a quick child's pose for a breath. Just listen to your own body. And as always in any of these workouts, always tune into what your body is asking for. Have a break. Modify any of the exercises that'll work for you. And then when you're ready, we're gonna put this ball under the other knee, other side. We're gonna tuck the toes so that we're landing on our toes and then fingers spread wide, wrists under shoulders, back is neutral, head in line with the spine and then opposite leg extending out, landing on your toes. And then when you're set, lift and lower that extended leg. Working the glutes, working back of the body. So important to focus on strength along the back of the body. 
keep going. One more like this, and then we'll do the cross midline. So next time you lift your leg, you're crossing over midline, crossing to the other side, tap your toes down, and then lift again, bring it back straight behind you and tap, and lift and tap, and lift and tap, and keep going. Moving our bodies in all ways. Tuning into those big breaths. Let's go three more. Last one, you got this. We're in this together, nice work. And knee down. Bring that ball out. And again, just take a moment. You might want to sway your hips side to side. You could shake out the arms, roll out the wrists again. And then when you're ready, take the ball and place it underneath one ankle. So you're just going to get it positioned under the ankle. And again, everything else the same. Fingers spread wide, both hands down. And this time the opposite leg, we're gonna stay on our knee. We're just gonna do a bit of rolling here. So you can see that the leg that's resting on the ball, I've got my knee lifted, I've got my foot lifted. And we're gonna start bringing the knee a little bit closer in towards our chest as we roll the ball along the foot. And then extend that leg out, rolling towards the knee. And the knee comes in as the ball rolls towards the toes and extend the leg out as the ball rolls towards the knee and keep going like this. So again, we're strengthening leg muscles. At the same time, we're having a nice massage along the front of the shin into the foot. And we'll just do one more each way. And then you can change sides. Same thing, starting with that ball just under the ankle and bringing the knee forward and then rolling as the leg extends out behind you and keep going. Let's do one more each way. Nice work. And then we can take that leg off and grab onto your ball. We're going to be making our way onto our back. So you could start with your knees bent. And if you want, you can hold on to the ball and challenge yourself to roll down with control while you're holding on to the ball or use your hands as needed to gently make your way onto your back. If you're going to hold on to the ball between your two hands, you could reach your arms forward and then just start to tuck the tailbone under and rolling down, thinking about one vertebrae at a time coming down on the mat and then maybe bring that ball all the way overhead and just pause for a breath here. And then bring the ball back up and we're gonna place the ball under our feet. So just take a moment, you can kind of roll it down there, you can get your feet on top of the gold ball. And then hands are gonna interlace behind your head. Let your head rest into your interlaced hands, elbows out wide. Again, thinking about the lower abdominals, a little scoop in and up. And then bring the soles of your feet to touch. So as the soles of our feet touch, the outside edges of our feet are resting on the ball and then knees are gonna fall out to the sides. Keeping that scoop in the abdominals. Start with an inhale and as you exhale, we're gonna curl the upper body up. Now the hands stay light behind the head. The work is in the abdominals. We're curling up, eyes are looking down, look down towards your feet. And then at the same time, lift one bent leg, just lift it in the air. And as we lower the leg, we lower the head. Again, start with an inhale and as you exhale, upper body curls up 
and the opposite leg lifts, leg lowers and head lowers. And keep going like this, just alternating which leg is lifting. We're doing an upper body curl at the same time lifting the bent leg. And that ball just adding a little instability so our body has to work a little harder at stabilizing. Nice and slow and controlled with our moves. Inhale, exhale. One more to each side. Hands are light behind the head. We're not straining our neck. Nice work. And come all the way down. And then roll that ball back up so you can hang on to it with your hands. And position your feet now flat on the mat with knees bent. Bring your feet close to your body. We're going to lift our hips up into bridge so that we can position the ball right under our sacrum. So that's the base of the spine, the flat bone um, sacrum. So pushing into your feet, lift your hips, roll that ball under, get it in position, and then let your body sink down into the ball. This should feel quite relaxing once you get it in position and you can sink down. Legs are parallel to each other. I'm just tucking my scapula shoulder blades under so I'm wide across my collarbones, palms down, and then slide your arms a little bit away from your body so you have a nice stable um, base of support with your arms. Scooping the belly. Let's lift the toes of both feet. So we're just on our heels with toes lifted. And if that doesn't feel great for you, you can always do this with um, your feet flat down onto the mat. From here, we're gonna bring one knee in towards the chest and lower it all the way down so the heel comes down. And then other knee in towards the chest and lower it down. And just keep going like this, alternating one knee coming in and then the other. As always, we're breathing. We're moving with intention, with control, really noticing how it feels in our body. And if any of the moves aren't feeling great for you today, just do a modification or take a stretch or take a drink of water. Let's go one more to each side. And then pause with your feet down. You can bring your feet flat down to the mat. In a moment, we're going to be lifting our feet, both feet up off the mat. And um, if you prefer, you can continue with the exercise we were just doing, alternating knee lifts. So before we lift our feet, let's just slide our arms even a little more out to the side so we have a really nice um, stabilizing base here with our arms. So they're really out to a V. Our core is engaged. Bring one knee towards the chest and then bring the other knee towards the chest. So our starting position. And then we're gonna extend one leg away from us. Push that leg away and then bring it back in. Other leg, push the leg away and bring the knee back in. And just keep going, alternating sides. You could imagine that there's something heavy under your foot that you're pushing away. You're pushing a heavy door closed or pushing a drawer away from you that has resistance. Checking in that our abdominal muscles are engaged. Let's go four more. Strong leg, push away. Long legs. Nice work, both knees coming in. Pause here, we're staying here with feet lifted. And then bring your legs to touch. Keep the inside edges of your feet touching as the knees move apart. Knees come wide and then knees come together. And keep going like this, knees wide, knees together. And the inside edges of our feet stay together, stay touching. Keep going. 
working those outside muscles of the hips. And we'll go for three, two, and one. Bring one foot down, bring the other foot down. And let's just pause here for a moment. This is a nice restorative position. Just let your hips sink, let go of any holding, and we'll have a couple breaths. Put a little smile on your face. And then to move the ball out of the way, push into your feet, just try to lift your hips a little bit off the ball, and then you can roll it out and slowly let the hips come down. We're going to make our way onto our side. And position yourself on your forearm of that lower arm. Hips are down, we're on our forearm. And then bottom leg, we're going to bend the knee and just bring the foot behind us. Top leg extended. And you can point your toes, making that leg nice and long. Take the ball and place it on the top leg. So your hand's just resting on the ball. Keeping all of this, we're going to lift and lower the top leg. So go ahead, lift the leg. We're just letting the hand roll a little bit on the ball as the leg lifts and lowers. Some side body work. These exercises are great for alignment, body alignment, helpful for knees, hips, lower back. Let's do two more. Great work. And then we're just going to go all the way over to the other side. Switching sides, and again, positioning is we're on our forearm, bottom knee bent, top leg nice and long, point your toes, bring that ball on top of the leg, and we're lifting and lowering top leg. Take a moment to thank yourself for rolling out your mat and doing this workout with me today. I appreciate you being here. And let's do two more like this. Beautiful work. We're going to roll over and lie down on our belly. The ball is going to be positioned under our feet at our ankles. So let's just bring the ball down there and then make your way onto your belly. And you can stack your hands and rest your forehead on your hands. So our feet are together, just resting on the ball. The ball is at about, um, at about your ankle or just below onto the feet. Point your toes and then bring one leg off the ball out to the side and tap your toe down on the outside of your mat. And then bring that leg back, position it on the ball. Other leg comes out to the side, tap your toes and then back on the ball. And just keep going side to side, tapping the toes out, bringing them back to the ball. We still have core engagement. So think about pulling the belly button just very slightly off the mat. Working the glute muscles here, lower back strengthening, back of the leg strengthening. And we'll do one more to each side. Nice work, beautiful. And then you can start to bring yourself up to hands and knees. Let's grab that ball and bring it in front of us. So um, we're going to be in a kneeling position. My toes are untucked. And then I'm gonna bring my hips back onto my heels. Now, if that doesn't feel great for you for any reason, doesn't feel good in the knees or doesn't feel good in the ankles, feel free to have your hips lifted. You could start with your hands down. So you find a starting position that works for you. With the ball in front of us, we're gonna place our hands on the ball 
and we're going to start to roll that ball forward. We're just going to roll our hands along the ball, and as the ball comes forward, we're going to let our upper body fall between our arms for a nice big stretch here. So come to a position that feels like a great stretch for you and have a couple breaths. And we're just starting our cool down now. So slowing the breath down. Let's roll the ball back and we'll do that stretch one more time. Roll the ball forward. Let your upper body sink. So you could have your hips up higher. Decide what's right for you. And then roll the ball back. And we're gonna make our way back to seated. We're actually done with the ball. So the ball can go off to the side. If you want, grab your cushion to sit on. And come to a comfortable seated position. You can sit cross-legged or you could sit another way with your legs straight out in front. We're going to do some side bends, this time without the ball, and we're going to follow our breath and go side to side. So on your next inhale, lift your right arm to the ceiling, side bend over, exhale. Inhale to lift, switch arms, exhale, side bend. Now let's follow our breath, inhaling to lift, exhaling over to the side. And if you prefer, you come into your side bend and you want to hold there for a couple breaths, go ahead and do that. We're keeping our hips down on the mat or on the cushion. And let's just do one more to each side. Coming back to center, both fingertips down. Shoulders up and back and down. And we'll finish with three big breaths together, tuning into your breath. Inhale your arms up to the ceiling as you inhale and exhale and let the arms come down. Two more like that. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Thank you so much for joining me today for the Yamana Gold Ball workout. I appreciate you being here. Feel free to share this workout with anyone you know who has a Yamana Gold Ball who would, who would love this. And um, if you would like to, subscribe to my channel and join me again for some more workouts. Have a wonderful day.